How y'all doing? Well, praise God. Amen. We're good to be back in the house of the Lord where we give God praise. We give God praise. Hallelujah. Well, today I want to welcome y'all to Angels and Every Demon of Baptist Church broadcast. Amen. We're going to get started with our... Uh, Messenger, you text YouTube music. We're going to get started with our prayer. Amen. Search, cast, button. Certainly, everything you do, thank y'all for the subscriptions and uh, we want to thank everybody for that. And uh, we want to thank everybody for the contributions that they have given. God bless you. And the my super mix, my mix one, my mix one, mighty clouds of joy back, revival, fire, fall, leave it alone, more action, leave it alone, leave it alone. Y'all, we finna go back to church now. Can we go to church? I want y'all to be ready now. Stop recording. Speech off. Hallelujah. 
I woke up this morning with my mind and you were stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind and you were stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind and you were stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Singing and praising with my speech on and praising with my mind stayed on Jesus. Every day, God give us a chance to say, Thank you, Jesus. I could have been dead and gone, but God brought you over another. That's something you should say, God, thank you for. God didn't have to do anything this morning. He could have let us stay asleep, but he woke us up this morning. We want you to put your hands together and worship with us this morning, as we, this afternoon. Lots to do. We have a payday. And, and as we right. praise the Lord, we want you to just get off your, take off your shouting shoes and put on your shouting feet. Amen. How many, you know, whatever you're going through, it's getting better. You may be battling cancer. You may be incarcerated. You may be going through high blood pressure, diabetes, but it's getting better. when I preach to you. Amen. Can I stand up with y'all and get my Bible and hold it in my hand like they do in the country churches? Get your Bible and turn with me to the book of Revelations. Let's go into the book of Revelations, the 21st chapter. Let's go to verse Revelations, the 21st chapter, verse 4. And it reads, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death nor the sorrow, nor crying, nor there shall be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Today I want to talk about, have you let go of the past and moved on? Mm, I like this subject right here. I got to put the ring on for this one. 
Have you let go of the past and moved on? So, when we let go of the past, we move on from the things that we thought was there, but it wasn't. We move on from the things we thought that was beneficiary, but it really wasn't. We think about the love we once had for somebody, but it was not there because of the past relationship you have had. So, when you get a past relationship, or when you leave your past alone, you seek God first. Because the Bible says, seek God first, and I shall add everything unto thee. Amen. You know, when, 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 when we look at it in life, when we look at it, we see people that nowadays, they question God, say, why, Lord, why must I go through this? Why me? God is trying to prepare you something for me. See, the reason why God takes you through some things to show you. People, everybody say I'm a child of God. Well, if you know you're a child of God, show me that you're a child of God. Don't proclaim it, but yet you have not explained it. So, you mean to tell me that... You mean to tell me that I... God, I, 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 I need a little bit more time. Lord, I need to be saved again. Can you help me with myself? Father God is saying, well, if I help you, are you going to go back and do the same thing you've done? See, God forgives us when we do wrong. But the question is, have you learned from your mistakes? <coughs> you know, I was going through something. I was talking with my mom one day and... Uh, I was going through something one day and I was talking to my family, but they said, if, let me tell you something. If the feeling ain't right, why you still stay there? It's time to move on. Because if that person can't love you like you want them to love you, and you can't feel the affection that you want to, you got to let them go. But you see, the Bible said that God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. He said there shall be no more death. Nor the crying. Because the former things are passed away. God said that there shall be no more pain for the former things are passed away. And when God came down from earth, he came down so that one day we may have life more abundantly. Well, I don't know about you, but sometimes you ever get down knees. You ever talk to Jesus when money ain't right or when the problems ain't right? Well, I know folks right now look at me crazy. They talk about what you're saying. But a lot of times we got to get out on the knees and realize God is getting ready to do something big in your life. The more we complain about it, the more the situation gets harder. Sometimes you got to sit back and let Jesus lead you. You got to sit back and let the Lord take the wheel. Sometimes you try to hold on to something that's meant to let go. And sometimes you get so sleepless nights nice, where you can't sleep body rocking with pain. Anybody ever couldn't sleep one night because you were so stressed? You feel like that nobody could help you. But the only thing you could do was lay there and cry. You see that old saying goes that Jesus will make a way when you don't have no money in your pocket. Won't he make a way when you don't have a dime to spare nobody? When folks write you off and say you ain't gonna make it, God gave you another chance. So that's telling you right there, you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it to the other side. I want you to understand. Get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. Get yourself ready, folks. Folks looking at me crazy. People want to walk around with their heads in the clouds. They want to act like it's your fault. Stop 
blaming somebody else for your problems. Stop making somebody feel sorry for you. Handle your own business. Ain't nobody gonna feel sorry for you. If you can't help yourself, you can't help nobody that don't wanna be helped. Somebody once told me, you can't keep nothing that don't wanna be helped. Well, I know, excuse me, somebody told me, what's a hoe? It's a to no housewife. Now these folks want money. They want sex and conversation. They don't want the value of a real relationship and a marriage. Folks now they feel like they gotta sneak around to mess with somebody. When you can just tell the truth and keep it real. Well, I know you may not understand, but when you go do things in life, mama gets to tell me she always say keep on living. And I'ma tell y'all keep on living. Keep on praying and seeking God. Stop trying to say you want something, but you don't know what you want. Because them, you gotta be careful what you pray for. The moment you say you really want it, it ain't that no more. I know what I'm talking about. You gotta try Jesus. You ain't anybody today that wanna try God. You wanna try Jesus. Try him. I can't tell your sister try him. Sister, love mama, brother, cousin, sister, uncle, and aunties, y'all try God. And watch him make a way. Watch God make a way. Watch God make a way. Watch God make a way. Y'all people tried to take my ministry down. They tried to say four years of work. But God bless me four years later. Getting ready to celebrate. Now established a good ministry. Brought it to Facebook and YouTube. Started out small. But look at what God brought me from. God can make you start from nothing. And bring you up to the top. He can bring you up here. He can bring you up. Oh, yes, he can. When I think about the Lord, it make me mighty happy. Because don't nobody know Jesus can rock you to sleep. Jesus can touch your body when you're sick. God can come in the room when you're least expected. When you're on your deathbed about to take your last breath. Won't God answer prayer? Won't he answer prayer? Won't he answer prayer? Won't God answer prayer? Won't God answer prayer? Prayer changes things. Prayer is the key to the kingdom. Prayer is the key to communication with God. Get out on your knees and talk to Jesus. Prayer. Prayer. Prayer is the key. You feel like today you want to get to know Christ? You can come to Jesus. You know what? God is still saving, folks. God is still saving. All you got to do is trust in Jesus. Somebody may be sick and tired. You can come right now. You can come to God as you are. Like today is your day. You feel like you want to be saved. You feel like you want to be blessed. You feel like you want to get to know God. You feel like you want to get to know Him. You can come. You feel like you want to get to know him for him and who he is. You feel like that God is really in your life and he's working for you. Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm a living witness today. You know what? We're going to say a prayer for the children. The children are going back to school. We're going to say a prayer for y'all. I want all the young people right now, wherever you are, I just want you to just, I just want you to just sit down somewhere and just pray right now. You may be going back to college. You may be going back to high school. Anywhere you're going to, we're going to say a prayer for you. You may be an officer. You may work as a firefighter. Whatever you work for, we're going to pray for you. Y'all excuse me right now, but we're going to pray for you. Father God, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your grace.
grace and mercy. Father God, we thank you for just giving us the strength and days to live and be without. We ask you, Lord, to give us strength and knowledge. Father God, sometimes so many folks have heard us and so many people have said some things they did not mean. But Lord, we know you're able to make a way. Father God, we know you're able to heal right now. We know you're able to move mountains. You're able, Father God, right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we need you to just touch right now. Somebody may be sick. Somebody may be dying. I don't know, Lord, but you know, Father God. Lord, somebody may be running for a breakthrough. How are they going to pay these bills? But you made a way. Father God, we ask you bless the children as they go back to school. Bless the parents of the children. Bless the officers. Bless the fire. Bless, the bless every person, Lord. Bless the doctors and the nurses right now. We ask you touch each and every family right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Everybody sing your name. My beautiful nephew with me today. Uh, this is the baby. This is this is the baby of the family. This is my sister's baby right here. This is my this is my last nephew I have, and uh, he's so handsome. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Uncle, love you. I love you. Give me, I love you. Well, we love y'all, nephew. We got to go. Bye bye. Say bye bye.